Hello, hello everyone. I wanted to come on here because I am taking some time to regulate my nervous system. <clears throat> and so I wanted to share some of the things that I do to help or support my nervous system when it's feeling overloaded and overwhelmed. And I want to express this understanding that if you have been through some sort of trauma or chronic state of stress, um, chronic state of stress means you were stressed beyond your capacity to cope for an extended period of time. And trauma um, can mean that you experienced a, an event or if, you, if it's childhood trauma, a series of events or a prolonged state of um, stress that your body was unable to understand at the time. So that's a very simplistic definition. You can go to lots of trauma um, therapists and read more about the definitions of trauma, but honestly, most of us have experienced some at some point in our life and I want to support you in understanding that it can take time to find equilibrium in your body. And sometimes, depending on what event it was, you will be at a different state in your nervous system for the rest of your life. So getting to know this new part of you, this new person, this new nervous system, is really what I help moms with, I support parents with, um, because <laughs> all of you parents out there know that when you ha become a parent, it shows you new parts of yourself that you didn't understand were there. Um, and it can trigger, hold on, It can trigger your nervous system into a trauma response or a fight, flight, and freeze or fawn response. So I was just doing my daily walk. Walking grounds me. The feeling of the air on my skin grounds me. My nervous system is able to um, relax. And yet I'm still thinking. So as I think about stuff, I get triggered or I start to lose that sense of safety in my body. And I wanna share a practice that I've been doing and then I'll share the reasons why I've kind of dysregulated. There are several ones that just happened to me last night and this morning that can bring you out of that state really quickly. And so you need those practices that ground you. So this one is the sigh, or some people call it the psychological sigh I've seen written, but I learned it early on in my yoga practice in Savasana, but I do it, I do it walking. And you just take a deep breath and you let all the air out from your mouth. Now, the thing that really helps the nervous system, the back of the throat, the vagal nerve that connects through to all of your vital organs, is if you let out a sound, <sighs> right? Just like a guttural sound. And this actually may take several times to feel like you are releasing if you've held tension there. And I just noticed that on my walk. When I start, ah, when I started, there was some trepidation. There was some stuck points. There was some shakiness. There was even some coughing that had to happen because I would get to a place where I felt a little stuck. Ah. And so doing that at least 10 times can start to release some of the tension in that area 
and you will notice your sense of calm and safety. Now, it's called a vagal toning because it does take several practices to tone this, just like any other muscle, if you're working out, you can't just do the workout once and then you're toned. So if you've dealt with a lot of stress, like myself, childhood was stressful for me. I didn't realize it at the time, it was just my normal, but I held a lot of cortisol, the stress hormone. I held a lot of stress in my body. And so it will take a long time to practice these things. And so just have some self-compassion with it. So last night, I, so I know about myself that I can't do as many things, I can't say yes to as many things as I used to. Um, because I do get overwhelmed, I get panicky, and I have to monitor the amount of things that I'm doing. Because now I'm a mom, I have all these other people and their schedules. There's a lot on my plate. But I love to plan events. I love to work on projects. So I do want to say yes to things. So last night I said yes to heading up the week of parent or teacher appreciation week at my kids' school. So planning, getting people together to give them activities, to bring in food, all that kind of stuff. So I decided I would be the head of that committee. And that's my go-to. I like to be in charge of things. I like to plan things. And now I have to recalibrate my nervous system as my thoughts start to be like, oh, I can't do this, that's too much. Oh, da, 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 da. All the things, all the things. Okay, there's one example. So having these practices for when I'm starting to feel that, I can go into my body. And I have a course, Reclaim Your Body, Transform Your Mind, with lots of these activities in them. And it is a series from um, start to finish where you can kind of build up to um, transformation. So lots of body activities, reclaiming your body, so that you can start to make a quick switch in your mind. And it has um, several weeks of activities that you can go in order or you can, you know, skip around. I suggest go in order for the transformation. And you can find that on my website, www.tanyamolano.com. It's called Reclaim Your Body, Transform Your Mind. This month, um, I am having a sale. So if you put in the code LOVE, you get the sales, the flash sale price. So put in the code LOVE and you can get the sale price on that course. One more thing that took me out of um, my state of groundedness and my equilibrium is this morning just walking here. I love to hike. I have hiked alone since my early 20s and I never really felt that I was in danger. I had my training on what to do if there is danger. Um, right now I have a dog who I feel would protect me if there was something that needed to be done. And still, as a woman, especially alone, there are things I have to think about. And sometimes it's a feeling of hypervigilance, but only if there are people around. I'm not afraid of nature. I know what nature does. I don't know what people are gonna do. And that, as a highly sensitive person, and if you are recalibrating your nervous system, this can affect you in many, many ways. And I, I urge you to seek support so you can be in relationship with other people. But in our park, we have inmates who come. I'm stepping over a, a fallen tree, look. Right in the path. Um, 
we have inmates that come and volunteer. They help. They have work trade or whatever they do. I don't know the terms. But oftentimes they do come near my house. They, they're on the trails. They're always supervised by somebody. But it's unnerving to me as a woman alone, not knowing what they are capable of or what their history is. And so that noticing what my body did when I saw these men and their supervisor drove the backhoe away from them and I was with three men who are inmates alone in this forest that sent me into my nervous system let me tell you so knowing that that can happen and having strategies for it coping tools is so important so that you can start to live with more freedom more courage so that course check it out i highly encourage it and i hope you have a great day everyone and you can find some grounding activities that really make you feel peaceful and safe namaste